Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the Mion robot, a low-cost 3 degrees of freedom robot with a gripper. Specifically, I will focus on the assembly instructions for the robot components and the wiring of the electronics. The aims of the presentation are on the one hand to explain how to assemble the robotic arm, Mi arm, and also to explain how to connect the electronics, providing connection diagrams. Prior to the assembly instructions, I would like to name the different elements of the robot. The arm has a fixed base, a mobile base that acts as link 1 with the appearance of a closed box on the sides that includes some servos and electronics. An H-shaped uh, link 2 coupled to uh, the servo on the right side of the robot. A four linkage mechanism is structured that allows the third link of the robot, which is the longest bar on the left side of the robot, to be moved indirectly with the servo on the left side. On the right side of the robot, there's a parallelogram structure that ensures that the gripper is horizontal. And also, it has an end effector of the robot, which is a gripper with two fingers that is moved with the fourth servo. The first joint is the one that allows the arm to rotate with a range from 0 to 100 degrees, 180 degrees. The second joint is the one that moves the robot arm with a range approximately from 50 degrees to 170 degrees. At 50 degrees, the arm is inclined backwards, while at 170 degrees, the arm is fully extended in the front side. The third joint allows the robot's force arm to move through the four linkage mechanism, and it has a range from 20 degrees to 160 degrees approximately. At 20 degrees, the forearm goes down to its minimum position, causing the gripper to be at the lowest position while at 160 degrees, the forearm is lifted to its maximum position. These limits are approximate, but it is convenient to know them in advance to avoid, for instance, uh, the alignment of the crank and the coupler of the four linkage mechanism or self conditions between the second link and the first link. The gripper is fully closed at 90 degrees and fully open at approximately 70 degrees. Next, I will briefly explain the assembly instructions of the robot. In the video description, I have included a link with a complete guide of the robot with instructions on how to assemble it. In the first two steps, we will assemble the robot base. We need to screw this, uh, the spacers to the base and a servo to the base support and use 16 mm screw to gain some separation. Once steps 1 and 2 are finished, we will put these pieces aside and use them later. Then, in the third step, we will screw another servo to the right side of link 1 and also fix the bottom part of the link 1. Please take into account that direction of servo cables and also the fact that I have a screw in the bottom part of link 1, a double servo horn. In the fourth step, you have to screw the right link 2 to the servo with a simple servo horn. Please make sure that link 2 has 90 degrees angle and that the servo is also at the 90 degrees position before screwing those parts. Then screw the middle part of link 2 as shown in the fifth step. In the sixth step, we must screw the triangle shaped piece and an elongated part corresponding to link 3 bottom right side. Use washers to minimize friction between parts. In the seventh step, screw an elongated part to create the parallelogram between link 1 and link 2. Use washers to, re to reduce friction between parts. In the eighth step, screw the remaining elongated part to the triangular shape part, also using a washer to reduce friction. In the ninth step, first fix the left part of link 2 to support uh, that join link 2 with link 1, with a washer in the middle and screw it all with the rest of parts, as shown in the figure. In the tenth step, screw link 3 on the left side, 
that's the longest part of all, to the rest of the pieces using a washer. Now, temporarily leave all pieces aside. In the 11th step, screw a servo to the left side of link 1, noting the position of the cable. Then, in the 12th step, screw the servo crank and the coupler, making sure that the crank is in a 90 degrees position as indicated in the figure, and the servo is also at 90 degrees position. Use a washer between the crank and the coupler to reduce friction. In the 13th step, will depend on the electronics you have selected. The base link 1 is ready to house electronics for Arduino Nano Shield or the ESP1 board. It is usually a good idea to properly wire all the electronics before this step, as it will be more difficult to access to the pins of the electronics later. i show you later uh, connection diagrams for the proposed electronics. Anyway, remember that you need to screw link 1 to the first motor before you fix the electronics. The 14th step consists of screwing the left part of link 1 to the rest of the pieces and also to screw the coupler from step 12 to link 3 with a washer in the middle again to reduce the friction between pieces. Finally, you will mount the robot gripper. The base of the gripper is made up of several pieces that will be fixed with the remaining servo parts and some screws. As well as, as it can be seen in the, in the step 15. In the 16th step, screw the servo crank with a servo horn. The position can be adjusted at the end once everything is assembled. In the 17th step, screw the fingers to the gripper base using some washers to reduce friction and in the 18th step screw the gripper coupler using a wood spacer and some washers. Again, once uh, the gripper is assembled, screw the gripper to the robot and then you're done. Here I show you two examples for connecting electronics. The first is based on the Arduino Nano while the second one is based on the ESP01 board. In the Arduino Nano case, the servo should be connected to any of the Arduino Nano digital pins. Here in the table and in the diagram, I show you where I have connected the motors, for your reference. The power supplies will be provided through the power bank and the 6340 battery that fits inside Link 1. When connecting the servos, please pay attention to the color code to connect them conveniently to the Arduino Nano extension board. In case of using a solution based on ESP01 board, use the PCA9685 servo controller to control the motors. In the tables and in the diagram, I have shown you uh, how to uh, connect, uh, connection should be made. As you can see, the servers are connected to the servo controller, which will receive uh, servo instruction movements through the I2C bus with SDA and SCL signals. These signals are connected to the GPIO0 and GPIO2 pins of the ESP01 board, respectively. To power up this circuit, you must provide, on the one hand, 3.3 volts for the ESP01 board, and on the other hand, 5 volts for the servos. The power bank with the 60-340 battery I use provides these two voltages. In this presentation, I have explained how to assemble the Mian robot and also how to connect the proposed electronics. Thank you very much.